Hey guys, welcome to the Lunch Home Review. Today I'm going to try one of these Sam's Choice shells and cheese. They're ready in three minutes. Uh, that's all it takes to heat and eat. Um, this is new at, at our Walmart, at least. They probably had them at, at Sam's Club for a while, but at least the, they're new at the actual Walmart. I'm, I'm not sure. So they're shells and cheese. This particular flavor is the bacon cheddar. Uh, of course, we got these at Walmart. They were a dollar, so not bad for a meal. Uh, macaroni products with cheese sauce. I like macaroni product. No synthetic flavors or dyes. 10 grams of protein per serving. 350 calories for the package. And there's the other information. Wow, that sodium is ridiculous. Okay. So, microwave directions is all I see on here. So, remove lid and cheese sauce packet. Set aside. Add water to fill on. Stir thoroughly. Uh, loose white powder is necessary. Probably all the sodium. Um, microwave uncovered on high for three minutes. I will probably put it on a paper plate just in case it boils over. It tends to do that sometimes. Um, so I anyway, cook it uh, for three minutes or until it's tender. Do not drain. And then stir in the cheese sauce until it's well blended. will thicken as it stands. And, uh, okay. So basically add water to the filling, which I can fill in with my thumb. And microwave for three minutes. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so it looks like they've just, just made a pasta dish, or pasta bowl, and added a different cheese sauce. So, I bet you anything, there's like four or five of these. Um, I bet you these are all the same, and they just throw in a different uh, packet of cheese. So, it's all right. And it feels like it's a, it's a liquid pack, like a Velveeta shells and cream. It's not a, uh, it's not a powder, it's a liquid. So, it's a liquid cheese sauce. So, yeah, right, I'm going to fill this up to this fill line right there, the one at the bottom, the one with the arrows pointing right there. And get the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave. It did splatter over a little bit. There's some water on the on the plate a little bit, but not bad. So I'm gonna stir this up just real quick, loosen it up. And I cut my cheese packet open, but I don't know if I'll be able to do this with one hand or not to get it in there. It's very sticky, it looks like. So let me um, let me see if I can squirt this in here. Like I said, I don't know if I will be able to, but I'll try. Um, I ended up having to uh, use scissors. I tried to pull it with my hands. I just couldn't do it. Um, looks like there's some bacon in there, little bacon bits or whatever. So I can't do this with one hand completely, but what I'm going to do is get this squeezed in there and stir it up, and then I'll be back when it actually cools off enough to eat. Okay, it's had a little time to cool off, and uh, it has a really good bacon smell, um, and you can really smell the bacon. It smells like bacon bits, but, but you can definitely smell it. So here we go. Oh, and it's still a little clumpy, like the, um, the actual noodles themselves are... Are a little um, soft and sticky so um, for this microwave I'll probably drop that a little bit and go with maybe you know like 250 or uh, maybe even 245 instead of the full three and that I think that would be better so um, so I'll do that from now on but these uh, you can definitely get that salty flavor it's it, no wonder the sodium was so high because you can taste salt and I'm getting that cheesy bacon flavor too so it's it's not bad it's um, definitely carb overload, but you know you get you get the bacon flavor, like the smoke flavor. So that's good. That's what I would want in a bacon and cheese flavored macaroni and cheese. Um, with that smoky uh, bacon flavor, it's pretty good. Um, the sodium's gonna kill it a little bit, but. Um, overall, I would give this a four. It's a really good flavor, um, decent quality. Like I said, the, the stickiness of the pasta is my fault for, um, you know, just going with the recommended um, cook time. It needs just a few seconds less in my microwave and yours it might need even more. So, um, so anyway, in the future reviews, I've got the other four flavors, I believe three or four flavors. Uh, from from those, I will, um, sorry, a cat just trying to climb up behind me. Um, I will re I'll reduce my time a little bit so it won't be so sticky, but uh, but for this one, really good flavors, really good quality. Highly recommend you try this out, especially if you like that bacon smoky flavor. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll catch you next time.